All right, guys, what's going on? This is a PC video for you for your Windows operating system. Now, um, anybody out there may have heard of OptiCrack now, um, or OPH Crack for um, XP, Vista, and 7. Now, the Vista one also works with 7 because the base line behind it is the same as Vista because it's based off Vista, so it'll work. Um, but I'm going to show you how to install this on a flash drive. Uh, this is just a simple mobile mate one gig flash drive and this is about all you're gonna need and um, I'm just gonna simply show you how to install this so the first thing that I'm gonna have for you to download off of my website which the link will be posted below in the description as well as the other links as well is the OPH crack XP live CD 2.3.1 it needs to be 2.3.1 in order for this to work because this is what it's designed for you're also going to need to download this universal USB installer 1.8.9.7 I'll have that for download as well and also the tables vista free um, zip archive file so um, without further ado take your USB of choice which I recommend just using a gigabyte one if you can get your hands on one they're really cheap they're like a fucking dollar because gig goes by pretty much a dollar now um, so just go ahead and plug that into your PC so I'm gonna have that recognize it real quick and I'm just gonna go to my computer so go to my computer you will see removable disk D now what I want you to do is right click on that and um, right click on it and select format now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna format that this to FAT32 now when you go to format it first it's probably gonna say FAT default what I want you to do is format it to FAT32 and the uh, allocation size put it to 512 and then just hit quick format and start it's gonna give you the warning just click OK allow that to format like so three two one any fucking day now format is complete you can close this now and you will see 960 megabytes free out of 960 click on the properties here just to double check and be sure I'm gonna observe the properties real quick on this flash drive it'll come up it'll say file system fat 32 right there and the use space is 512 bytes and the free space is 960 and that's perfect to what we need so click OK and leave it at that now what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna wanna open up the universal USB installer 1.8.9.7 so double click on that and open it up you're gonna select yes probably can't see it on my screen because it doesn't show option for some reason just click I agree and select the Linux distribution drop down to put on your USB so what you're gonna do is just simply select um, doop, 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 boom, boom. Uh, let's see <laughs> Uh, where the hell is it? Where the fuck is it? Should be down here somewhere. OPH crack XP. You're going to scroll down till you see that. Click that. Now you got to select and find the ISO. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. So I'm going to go to my book here where I have it stored. Select it, go to win my Windows crack, and here it is right here, the OptiCrack XP Live CD 231. Click open. Now you're gonna want to select your USB flash drive letter only. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you pick the right one. So go to computer. I see that mine is D, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna select D. So select D right there. Format D and erase content. We already done that, so we don't need to worry about that at all. Now what you're going to do is just click create. It's ready to perform the following actions. Create Sysilis Linux MBR on the D and create the pen drive label on D and also install Octopro uh, uh, OPH Crack XP. So click yes and just let it do its thing. Command prompt's gonna open up briefly all the time doing this and all that fun shit. And then this is gonna show up. And you're just gonna simply wait for this to run through its thing. <clears throat> now, 
Um, this is actually the first time I'm doing this, so I'm going to pause this real quick, and I'm just going to wait, because I don't know how long this is going to take, and I will tell you how long it takes when I come back, so let me pause this real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back here, and uh, it's about to finish up with this, and I'm just going to go through and let this do its thing one last time. And the process is now complete. Installation done. So you can hit close on that. Now. I'm just going to click refresh real quick. And you should see that you have memory taken up. So now what you're going to have to do is do this. You're going to want to open up your pen drive. And you're going to want to open up the tables folder and you have the XP free small folder now um, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to open up the tables Vista free folder so open that up like that and you can see all this now if you open up the XP free small folder you're gonna see similar stuff so go back and this is what I want you to do you know just right click or you can just click new folder up here if you're running Windows 7 or Vista and you're gonna name this folder uh, Vista underscore free so V I S T A and then underscore and then free that's it now open up that folder and what I want you to do is take all these files in here so all the way from the word uh, dictionary all the way down to the post dictionary so post and I'm just gonna hit shift and click that so it selects all of them drag and drop them and extract them into the Vista free folder that you've created inside the tables folder so allow that to do its thing now like I say this program uh, this flash drive is basically used for bypassing security passcodes administrative passcodes on any laptop running on Windows XP all the way up to Windows 7 um, for the main purpose of one having somebody have the slightest idea that you have been inside their computer or for an example if you have forgotten your username password um, and you want to recover it then this would be a perfect way for you to do that um, also it's good for me because I do repairs on computers and sometimes a customer will forget to give me a password and no worries about that now I also have a thing called a go disk um, that the geek squad uses that I can just wipe the password but I don't like using that just because people want their password there for a reason and then I wouldn't know it so uh, and just you know showing the fact that their password can get blown right out of there you know kinda doesn't leave safety up like that so that's why I like using this because I can leave the password there and I can know what it is and get in it and it's all good and dandy but anyways so this is copying over now and after this I'm going to reboot my computer and boot from my flash drive so I'm gonna record with my camera because I can't record my screen uh, but anywho um, and I don't really feel like booting up a virtual machine just to show you so yeah <clears throat> um, so I'm letting this copy and then we're going to do that. This takes some time. text messages could this copy any slower oh my god damn damn
All right. So, now that that's done and all the files are copied over, we can go back and make sure the folders are correct. And also, we can go back and make sure everything is here. And let's go back and look at our pen drive. We should have about 83 megabytes left when you're done with this process. So I'm just going to exit this, exit this, and exit this, and get rid of my downloads here. So again, my links will be in the description below, so let's reboot the computer and see what this thing can do. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so, forgive me for my holding of the camera, but I'm just going to go down here, and you'll see I'm going to select restart real quick. So, there's the restart, and let's do this. So it's going to reboot my computer and we're going to boot to the flash drive. As you can see the flash drive is still in there. That's the flash drive that I was using. <clears throat> so allow that to shut down. And I believe F12 is going to be my boot on you, but I'm not sure. Any day now. Make sure this is the only USB plugged in. And make sure it's plugged into your primary port as well. So I'm going to turn that back on and go back to the boot menu now. Alright. USB. Select that. And it should load up to this. Now, uh, select the first one, automatic, which makes life easy. And it's going to load all these fucking periods of fucking death and then the script and dog, oh my god, the fucking writing and dog. Uh, and more shit. Alright, so this is fairly similar to the disc. Uh, actually, it's exactly the same thing as the disc, but it's just going to load this up real quick. Bum, 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 bum. You'll see a whole bunch of OKs on the right. Don't worry about those. If one of them fails, don't worry about that either, because I've seen that before too. And here we go. <clears throat> and now it's going to load the Vista Free, and it will also load the XP Free Small. So allow those to load. And then pretty much, you're going to look at this. These are your NT passwords. The first two, administrator and guest, should be empty uh, sometimes. If you're not the computer administrator and you have an account on here, which I didn't register mine as the administrator because I didn't really see the purpose of an administrator password anyway if I was going to be the only user using this computer. But you will see that uh, DeathRing333 right here is this, uh, the five... 38494B67A6901 or whatever and it'll not say empty which is the third one down right here so right underneath the second empty is where that slot is which means that there's a password there now this is automatically gonna do its thing it's gonna use the Vista Free first um, just because it's that's how it's on the flash stick so you're just gonna allow that to do its process and yeah, so, <clears throat> wait for that to complete, and I'll be right back. Alright, so, um, I ended up getting a not found uh, on Windows 7. Um, it might be because this is actually the pro, um, fucking, the, like, best pro out there. So, anyways, uh, so it might work for you, it might not, but this is guaranteed to work on Vista, and it's guaranteed to work on XP. So, that's what we're looking at. Um, so, yeah, but rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out my website, Software Reborn, where all these links will be available for download. And, uh, well, files, not links. We don't download links in this country. And, um, yeah, uh, check out my Twitter, at DeathRain333. At the top of the screen and bottom of the screen, you will see the abbreviations for those. And, yeah, so take it easy, guys, and I hope to see you all very soon.